call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 17th day of December 2019 at 5 p.m. We're going to ask on Bill Burgess to lead us in a, in a prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we just come to you tonight thanking you for the many, many blessings that you bestow upon us each day. And we are here tonight uh, to take in some minutes of the county, and we just want to uplift our leaders from each district, the judge, and all of them that's involved in, in all these things that they do on a daily basis that we don't really understand and realize what's going on sometimes. Just lead and guide and direct them in everything they do and say. These things we ask in our name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before you, you have the minutes of the uh, November 12th minutes. Uh, I mean, the, the minutes you have them printed. I need a motion to approve. So moved. Have a motion by Sam, second by Jason. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion carries. Uh, before you have the bills claims payments and transfers including a late list do I have a motion to approve can you give us a minute to go over the late list let's go over the late list just a second okay. uh, so move and so we can have some discussion motion by Larry Cam second, second by Sam Small uh, discussion We do for the one he hauls the bodies in. I guess this must be for when he got, well, goes his train and he's purchasing a vehicle. He looks up a lot of cars that he doesn't drive the corner van. He drives his personal vehicle. Oh, okay. But I think this particular one's training, I believe. I didn't know if there was something wrong with the vehicle. Or... No. It saves him from having to drive. I mean, listen, Forsville to drive all night in the town. Got it. That's what you were asking the other day about the jobs created by Oceda. What's this uh, forest fire protection tax? We have to give that to the state once a year uh, on the property tax bill, the forest fire tax, and we have to pay that to the state. They send us a bill. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. I'm good, Judge, when you get ready. All right. Workers. Let's go ahead and roll call. Okay, Johnson? Yes. Can? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. The bills, claims, and payments and transfers are approved. You also have the uh, uh, treasurer's report for November, for the uh, financial statement for November. Motion, Motion by uh, Sam, second by Joe. Are there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like saying, motion carries. Um, I don't see anybody from the clerk's office here, but we also have her November. I'll make the motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. Motion by Jason. Have a second? Sam. Sam seconded. Second by Sam. Any discussion? Being none. 
Um, favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. That motion carries. Uh, Ohio County Airport, Emily Heron. I'll make this quick. We don't have ball games and place to get to. Um, I just wanted to kind of update you all. Last time I was here, we talked about um, transferring that money from an airplane project over to the T Hanger project, and I just wanted to let you all know that that was a huge success. Um, the Kentucky Department of Aviation saw that as a really great vote of confidence from our local government. So because of that, they funded the additional $366,000 to um, build us 10 T-hangers. So that's gonna be huge for our airport. So I just wanted to make sure you all were aware of that and tell you thank you for, um, for supporting us. And we're really excited to get those 10 T-hangers built hopefully within the next six months or so and uh, move forward with that and bring in the revenue that that's gonna bring in. So thank you guys very much for that. Emily, I've got one question for you, girl. Uh, I was talking to some some uh, builders that do this type of work, the, the uh, pole barn buildings and whatever, and they wanted me to ask you if uh, if they if they have the engineering. Uh, you know, the last time we discussed this, we were talking about it had to be certain specs and this and that, and I understand it has to be engineered. But what they were wondering, uh, and there was just a certain few maybe none in this tri-state or whatever they could do it maybe up in Ohio was the closest one they could could put them up but what they were wondering if if the engineers that they've got will qualify for uh, allow them if it's engineered allow them to, to uh, compete in the bidding process to build these buildings um, well I mean I I honestly don't know what would prevent them in putting in a bid I mean we will advertise for that like in the newspaper and things like that so I don't know that there's any reason you can't put in a bid but um, I know like Mark Rowe talked to Lambert's I think that's maybe the one you had mentioned and they said they know they cannot do it um, but I'm not sure what would require them to, to have to do it. Um, we work with an engineering firm, so that, you know, I don't know how they would have to work with them to, to kind of make sure that they have all the, all the things, but um, I can look into it, and if it's, if it's somebody so, that you have, you know, give me their contact information. If, if, there's, if there's a substantial them. savings in it, which I think it would be, yes. and this was a Morris guy that I was talking to from Whitesville, okay. that he builds them as well. But would you uh, dig into that a little bit, find I out will, some information, yeah. and, and see I'm, if we can't get that built locally, which I think would yeah. make us, I like I mean, to say, a savings. I love that, absolutely. I think that would be awesome, especially even just for the savings part, but also, I mean, it's always great to, you know, keep things yeah, local. Yeah, local. I uh, believe all you'd have to do was get the specifications and have it in the bidding well, package. I, I, I don't know enough about it to explain everything to you. I just know I've been told from the people at the State Department of Aviation and the FAA it's more complicated than that yeah. uh, because it's not just certain specifications. There's all these other things, all these other regulations from the FAA. They like to overregulate everything. So, you yeah. know, there's, there's just a lot more that goes into it than I even understand, to be quite yeah. honest with you. But I'll definitely look at it. Would you do that and yeah. see what kind of specs that uh, they've got to have as far as the engineering and report maybe back to their next court or send a judge a letter or whatever so we can review it? And I'll be glad to. I would appreciate it, Emily. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Ann, explain to us about this road department checking account. It's a checking account. We opened about a year ago uh, for them to be able to get parts, but as it turned out, it was used with a debit card, and that's not allowed. So we don't need that account anymore. They just have to use the county credit card to order. Can you just kick it off? We need the motion to. Uh... Yeah, I have to have a motion. I okay, open Judge. Close. Okay, motion by Larry Count. Second. Second by Larry Morphew to close. The account, the road department checking account. To transfer the balance in there into the regular road. I think it's about seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Again. Let the motion reflect that then. You get it. Yes. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Justin. Oh yes, yeah, so I'll be kind of quick on this. Um, Center Town had an issue with a piece of property within their city boundaries. Uh, they spent. From my understanding and talking to their attorney of over $15,000 um, in uh, correcting an issue that was probably in violation of an ordinance or, or some type of resolution. So they filed suit uh, against uh, this property and the owners thereof uh, included in that suit. We, we were included in that suit mainly because we weren't paid ad valerian property taxes. Uh, the property was sold at the courthouse steps 
uh, I guess because of the shape the property's in, no no one been on the property. Uh, so the judge said that the property would be deeded by the master commissioner to the parties uh, uh, relative to whatever interest of a lien they had. Our interest was 9%. Um, in talking to the city of Centertown, it'd be right my recommendation to the county uh, to propose to give this to the city of Centertown, uh, considering the liability, uh, the additional cleanup that we may have to have, uh, and we're only owning 9%, uh, I would recommend that we go ahead and, and uh, uh, deed this to the city of, of Centertown, because um, I think they're going to either try to do some additional work on it or may even try to recoup some of their expenses, which they probably won't be able to recoup a whole lot. Was this on Main Street or it on was. the? Main? Yeah, and the, the address was on 840 Main Street. Right, and the um, our total amount owed to the county was two thousand two hundred twenty-six dollars. But because it was sold at the courthouse steps um, and no bidder, then we're not going to be able to collect on that. We just have a nine percent uh, interest in the property. Yeah, I talked to the city uh, several months ago about possibility of making a beautification project or something there in the city keeping ownership of it maybe which would be a good thing so a, a motion if, if, if the uh, court is so inclined would be for the judge executive to execute a deed in favor of city of center town uh, conveying our interest in nine percent of the 840 main street center town kentucky have a motion by joe barnes second a second's all over the place i'm going to take jason bullocks uh, that's great. Any more discussion? No. Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. I'm signing the deed. thing personnel <laughs> I'm not asking but for three things at a time so. well, Miranda they may come and just decide to pick that up because the fees changed at the clerk's office in January uh, quite a bit higher than what they used to for the recording of a day okay do you want me to hold on to it then or what do you want me to do I, I think maybe someone maybe Pat brought it in for signature so if you if we can maybe contact her they'll i think they want to get this as soon as they can that's city clerk okay okay uh personal back here we go the two of them okay one of them to change uh i have two personnel issues here uh one of them is Patricia Atherton, the custodian here, and this building went to raise her from level two to level three under the uh, uh, wage assessment committee's recommendations that we had done and set these rates. But we feel it's time to move her to level three. We'd remove, would move her from 11.95 per hour to 12.22. Uh, that would recall a roll call vote. Johnson. Yes. Town? Yes. Morphy? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Okay. What's this one? Uh, and next we have the senior center. We need a substitute meal driver. Uh, of course, you only pay them when they work. And it's in the budget. At part time, at nine fifty six an hour. Uh, and the name is... Uh, Max Coleman. So, have a roca. The effective date is eleven eight. Johnson. Yes. Cown. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Small. Yes. Barnes. Yes. That uh, that's. <laughs> Uh, next we have the uh, Ohio County Tourism up. I don't think I 
make it reach the mic. <laughs> well, first of all, Log is on Down is Ohio County Tourism. I want to thank you for all the support that you have been giving tourism, our new brochures out and things like that. But actually, tonight I have a different hat on. Tonight it's the Bill Mineral Foundation hat. And, uh, and that is separate from the Jerusalem Ridge Festival, which again, I want to thank you for your support on that. It's growing and growing, and we're already having a lot of response for next year. But the hat I have on tonight is for the Bill Monroe Foundation. When our caretaker left, um, Cicero Cleaner, he had moved a building uh, that he had, one of those uh, metal buildings, but he had customized it, and it's insulated, has shelves on it, and two entrance doors. So he asked if uh, we wanted to purchase that. We did. The foundation voted, the board voted to purchase that building. Um, we have been paying on it, and he has 2000 for it. Um, we have been paying on it as a foundation. We've also received some funding from Jason Bolak, and we're down to the last 500. So I'm coming before you today to ask if each one of you could possibly donate 100 to this building. What we're using it for is to store the county-owned uh, lawnmower is on there, in there, and the uh, weed eater that Larry bought. It's the equipment and things that we use to keep the home place up and running. And also in the back, we'll be putting some of our um, storage from the double wide to empty out a room in there. So I come before you to ask you if uh, magistrates would each uh, throw in $100. Five of you, we would have it finished and could pay for it. I don't have no problem. Why couldn't we take it out of the reserve? <coughs> if, uh, if you want to make that motion, we'll see if it works. I'll make a motion for that. I have uh, three fire departments and three parks, and of course everybody knows how much your discretionary money is not going to be coming in anymore. And mine is slim, but I, I make a motion we take it out of the reserves. $500. Do you hear a second? Have a motion, is there a second? I'll contribute my hundred. Okay, I will, my, I will, and that'll take care of the fifth one. If the rest of you will, I'll do a hundred, and that makes five. Just divide it six ways, I'll give. Okay, divide five hundred by six. Hey, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Thank you. And I will remind you that this is one of your organizations in the county that does bring money back into the county, so we'll take care of it. Thank you very much. How, how big is that building? I just... Um, I think it's about a 22, uh, like a 15 by 22. It's pretty nice size. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do that in motion so she can write the check. Uh, so, Larry Cam, move. Joe Barnes, second. All in favor say aye. Uh, right. Motion passed. And the re motion reflects allowing Ann to write the check. We don't want to cause Ann any more work with her six of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, I have appointment to the extension board. Uh, this is to uh, <coughs> will be effective uh, January first until January thirty first of twenty twenty two. So I guess that's a three uh, three year uh, appointment. And the first one is Fred Maiden. Go we'll call that one. Are you Fred Mason, you said? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Are these to represent certain different Did communities throughout the county? No, not really. Okay. They're all rural people, uh, farm or 4-H or background, something like that. Uh, the other one is Sarah Smith. She's from your district, Larry. Uh, Morphe. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphe? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Where she live at, Judge? Yes. Uh, Barnes? Yes. <clears throat> uh, right on 505 in Bays Town, you. Uh, Hi, David. David, maybe not right now. Just in the curve up there. Well, they sent me four names to pick two from. Uh, 
Um, now we're down to uh, committee reports. Um, first thing I'm going to do is appoint a new committee. We'll call it the Community Center Safety Committee. Uh, sl maybe slash security, safety slash security committee. Uh, I've talked to all the people that are going to serve on it. Uh, Alan Russell will head it up. He's the head of security in the building. Uh, Larry Morphew will be the magistrate's uh, a representative, and the two citizens at large will be Les Johnson and Judge Renona Browning, the retired Judge Renona Browning. Now, what's, a, what's this board, what's this going to do? They're going to look over to make recommendations for any security changes that need to be done in the building. As far as upstairs on the judicial end of it? Or? No, probably the entire building. Not saying there'll be any, but just decide if they need to recommend any. If they are, they'll have to come back to you. So, okay. And there may be some subtle changes. Uh, There's one thing I think we need to check into, Judge. I think we ought to have a class shooter in the building for these employees that work here. No, we did once, but it's probably time to have it again. Sheriff, will you look into that for us? <clears throat> maybe one that just doesn't, you know, watch a video talk about combine. Maybe one that's like hands on, like get in your closet or shoot or hide. Oh, or she's supposed to play war games. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll let, we'll let the sheriff recommend on that and see what we need. Have a gun inside the building. Is that what it is? Okay. Are there any other committee reports? <laughs> Whatever you are quick with within your office desk. Yeah. Uh, my best. Uh, I remember there's three things they said run, uh, hide, or fight in that order. I didn't get past the run part. I, I, I'd, I'd still be running. But anyway, uh, we'll do that. Okay, now any, if there's no other committee reports, I will tell the everybody that the road committee met this afternoon at 4 30. And we heard the beginnings, we've got a ways to go, of a, of a plan to uh, have a road plan. We're getting as far as having the inventory and the condition score and all that. And then it'll come back to magistrates in a road committee meeting to come up with the formula to, that will be the last step. And uh, that will be the hardest, the most thought out one yet. But, but our inventory will show miles of distance, uh, houses per mile, traffic on the road, how much traffic's on it, uh, and, you know, and all these things here to, uh, uh, to decide what, where we, when we get some money to improve roads, where we'll spend it, and instead of us having to reassess it every time at the risk of getting it wrong, we'll already have it studied out and we'll have a plan in place. Uh, now we're down to magistrate's comments and requests. So we're at Mr. Sam Small. I know he has at least one. Yeah, uh, Judge and magistrates, I'd like to add a water line to our list. Uh, it's for Tucker Holler Road, 2,500 feet uh, at 19,150. Twenty-five hundred. I'll second that if it's in a motion to add to the list. Yes. yes. I have a motion and second. Is there any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. It's added to the list. We see that it gets on there. Okay, Jason. Okay, Jason. Everybody, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Jason. No. Jody, no. were you supposed to say something? I will, whenever you well, why don't you go ahead and recognize her now, Jason, you're the last one on the committee there. Go ahead. <coughs> I just noticed we had something, you were here, so I didn't want to leave you out before we got done. Okay. Larry, you had uh, requested information about um, the impact of the revolving loan fund, and uh, what you have from me is the economic impact of those, uh, how many jobs it created, what the economic impact is. It doesn't tell you the specific wages because they don't have to disclose that to us. We have to work backwards from the state and local taxes. 
work in order to figure out. There's no way we can figure when we're giving them money, we can't find out how much they're paying their employees. Yeah, they they some of them told me an average. Uh, for instance, Ross is their 22 employees. The average wage is 16.50. Um, but they don't have to tell us that, no. They don't have to tell Could us Could I get with you later and get the ones that you have? Mm hmm Okay. Any questions about that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Joe? Uh, no, thank you. Larry? Nothing. Anything, Larry? Justin? No, thanks, Joe. Well, okay, here's good news. We're going back to two meetings a month. And uh, in, in January, it'll be the second and fourth Tuesday in each month of the year. And uh, the first meeting, the set, which is on second Tuesday, will be right here, just like we are now. The second meeting will be, venture out and doubles our town hall meetings, which we've already been kind of doing uh, with special calls. But this uh, our second regular meeting in January will be at Center Town. And... Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's at the city at the city hall or fire department. Hopefully, city hall, right, Joe? Yeah. And then the second one in February, the hospital wants to host us. You know, we're, they're borrowing seventeen million dollars in our name. And they're going to explain where it's going to be spent. They don't want to keep us there or anything like that, right? No, no. Okay. I, Only you. No, they're. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that's good news. With that said. Nothing else for the good of the body. This means adjourned. No, wait a minute. Do we ask to feed the citizens here? Anybody got any good to bring to the body? I thought Mr. I just wanted to have a quick minute if I could. Okay. I, I see him sitting out there. I just want to give you an update on Shreve Road. Hopefully you can give me one. Uh, the last people you guys met with, uh, I talked to them, and they came out the day they met with you, and that would have been a gentleman by the name of Hagen and another, another guy named... I'm bad with names, but his name was Glenn. Yes. Now, I understood that he was called in because somebody else had appendicitis or something. Anyway, he talked a good fight, and I showed it to him. Hagen had seen it before. He was shocked at how much worse it has gotten, talking about the jam on the river. And uh, we talked a bit. Uh, this gentleman named Glenn, he's got some background with the Natural Resources Conservation Service. I at that time told him my son works for them here in Hartford. So he said, boy, I'd really like to talk to your son. Uh, he said, I'll go by his office. Well, I had talked to my son earlier. Well, my son wanted to meet him too, so he, he was on his way to the farm. So they met. Okay, like I said, he talked a good fight, and I hope they're going to get things done, but what I have been really upset about in the last two months is he told my son that the first thing that they would do would they would contact the Natural Resources Conservation Service and say, hey, how much money do you have and, and what's your counts and this and that, and maybe we can get some of your money. Well, my son having the job he does, we've been waiting for that to happen, and he said that has never happened. But on the good news end of the deal, I think, and I talked to Charlie Shields the other day, there was a surveyor out at the bridge, and they took some shots on the bridge, took some shots uphill from the bridge, took some shots downhill from the bridge. So we got some stakes in the ground, and we got some paint, and I hope that's a good sign. Uh, Charlie did tell me that he understood. Uh, I believe he told me that he knew about that and that uh, they had 75% funding. And, then, and it would take 100% funding for them to start on the big cleanup on the river, so they were doing some things. So I'm just curious what you, you guys uh, know. I understood what the people from Maverick said, and I don't know if he's the same folks you've talked to or not, but our contacts with Maverick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you remember his name, Sam? Clark. Clark. Clark yeah, Willie, Clark yeah. Willie. Yeah. Well, they said all of the uh, uh, paperwork is into FEMA, and that's where we're trying to get the funding right. for. Right. Uh, FEMA is sort of part of the is part of the federal government, and you know how fast those guys work. Yeah. <coughs> so that's. Yeah. Well, like I say, I was down in the dumps, and when I saw that paint on the ground and those stakes of 
in the ground, I got happy. But here's, here's, I mean, and I took some pictures yesterday, but I didn't get them developed. My wife's got a thing to develop because I'm not a phone person and all that. But three weeks ago, when we started doing some calling and stuff again, and at that time, we weren't able to get a hold of that. I had been able, and I believe me, I have not bothered them. I have not made a nuisance of myself. But we could, we could not, nothing would go through. And I was nervous about that. But at that time, we had lost a new chunk of ground, 20 by 20, just flat in and 30 foot deep. This rain that we had, this last rain that we had, where my wife sent you pictures of the bridge with the water to the bottom of the bridge and just mm -hmm. running like crazy, I went down after the water went down and looked, and we lost another 40 by 40 into the field. So, I mean, it is bad. Bad, bad, bad. So, I just yeah, we want do to that. give you an update, yeah. and I want to. Yeah. We will call it. Oh, well, you told me some that I didn't know. Some I did, but some yeah. I didn't. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure you will follow up with them every week. Yeah, yeah. well, I, believe me, I have not made a nuisance of yeah. myself. With them. Well, and they have been very cooperative yeah. any time. But what got yeah. us upset was when Glenn told my son, the first thing we'll do was go to your people, and the second thing we'll do is go to the Corps. And I mean, he's... He's knowledgeable, believe me. He talked a good fight, and he's, you know, he's a character. And uh, but I, I liked him. I liked him. But when we had not seen any contact to natural resources, we were getting shook up. Thank you. Thank you. With that, this means the journey.